Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at something very unique and possibly very, very handy. These are the TNLog 6-in-1 multifunction folding EMT shears. Alright, so this one's going to be a little bit on the medical tool side today. Um, if you guys are familiar with EMT shears, this is normally what you get in your emergency kits. Uh, very thinly made, they'll probably work once or twice. And let's face it, you're probably only going to use them once or twice, but they're not the strongest things in the world. Um, and I actually had these in my uh, my battle belt um, because they're small. I had, I, you usually get bigger ones. These are kind of smaller. And the reason I had them in there is because they're small. They're short. I can fit them in my, my kit, my first aid blowout kit, without... Um, lugging around a ton of extra stuff or putting another thing on my belt to hold them. I thought it was kind of convenient. They were small, and I figured if I'm going to use these, I'm going to probably use them once and throw them out because they're going to be covered in whatever. And generally what these are used for is to cut off clothing from somebody who's injured to get at a wound area uh, without injuring them. If you use a regular pair of scissors, and we'll pull one off the wall here and I'll show you, you know, I really wouldn't want this digging up against me, you know, under my pants leg or wherever. If you're using these... You have a little protection on the end, and they're blunted at the top, so you're not going to dig in by mistake and accidentally cut somebody. Well, now I came across something, and this is kind of familiar to a Leatherman product, but um, if the price is way different. And these are the Tian Lug 6-in-1 Multifunction Folding EMT Shears. Now, looks a whole lot different, right? And it's almost as long, but it's more compact, and that's what I like. So to use these, I'm going to give you all the features in a sec, but to use these, you're going to simply... Open them up like that. They locked into place and they're ready for cutting. Uh, one of the nice features about this is you do have a pocket clip on here and it is a sturdy pocket clip. Uh, it also moves out of the way. You'll note, and I thought it was loose at first and I saw this in here and I even asked them, I said, is this, you know, do I, should I tighten that? No, it's made to move out of your way for your fingers. Um, one of the suggestions I'm going to make with these is when you are using these, you know, with these you'll probably use two fingers on the bottom. And I have a fairly large hand, so you can see my fingers are just busting out of there. With these, I would say use as many fingers as you can fit in here. I find if you use, if I'm using only two fingers, you're kind of flopping all over the place. You could fall out. With three fingers, that's a nice positive cut. So, definitely like that uh, feature of them. And I like the fact that that does move out of the way, because at first I was a little concerned about that. I'm like, ooh, that's going to be a hot spot if I'm cutting through clothing for a while. Um, with that, you're right there and get it out of the way, and you're cutting. So, these have a bunch of little hidden features that you wouldn't know about. They do have serrated blades on here, so it will get through really, really tough material. So, they're more suited for emergency rescue type situations. Um, they do have, these are multifunction as well. You'll notice on the end here, you've got a carbide tip, which is a glass breaker. Um, how often you're going to use this as a glass breaker? Don't know, but it's nice to have. They're made of a durable stainless steel. I believe it's 420 high carbon stainless steel. So you don't have to worry about them um, rusting on you. It's not high carbon steel, it's high carbon stainless. And they have a bunch of other little features. Another neat feature on these is this area down here. What that is is a ring cutter. If you're wearing a ring, all right, if somebody's wearing a ring and it's constricting their finger in some way or you need to get it off in a hurry, how this works, and you'll notice the sharpened edge here, is you're going to place this under the ring and snip it. So let me see if I can give you a good example here. Uh, let me find a piece of wire. We're going to just use a piece of wire today. And we're going to put it under there, like that, and snip it right off. So that is very, very sharp. You see it cut it right off. And that will cut through most decent sized rings there. You also have another feature on here that you can use one of two ways. This is your seat belt cutter here. Now this will fly open when you push this little button here. So you could probably use it like this, however, I think it would be best suited, let me close it back up again, to use this when it's fully folded as a seatbelt cutter. And that kind of does make sense, right? If you come upon somebody that's in a car trapped in their seatbelt, you're not going to open up the shears first and try to cut the pants off their leg where there's a wound. You're going to try to get them out of the car first. Push that, it flies open, it locks into place, and you will be able to cut seatbelt with it. Um, that is very, very sharp. You can even feel the sharp edge over here. Unfortunately, I don't have a seatbelt to cut, and I'm not going to cut them out of my car. So you'll have to take my word on it that is sharp. <laughs> but I do like that feature. That's very, very handy to have as well. 
So all in all, I'm really impressed with it. It folds up nicely. It fits in your pocket very, very well. Um, I did try it in my uh, cargo pants. I have those cargo pants that have a little thing on top of the cargo pocket. And they fit in there perfectly with my flashlight. No, uh, no issues in getting them in there. They do have a slot up here if you want to wear these kind of as a uh, uh, dangler type unit hanging off you, you know, like a neck knife or something. So that is kind of cool too. What we're going to do with these today, and this is a fairly quick video, is we're just going to test them out on some stuff and see how well they work. The first thing we're going to use it on is some power cord here. So let me get a piece of power cord ready and we'll try it out. Now I don't really think this is going to have trouble cutting power cord, but you get the idea. Um, basically the point is these can be used for a lot of different things. You don't have to just stick with you know, using these for only emergencies. They're kind of handy, I would say, for campers and hikers as well. But yeah, this cuts right through power cord, no problem. No issues at all. See if we can double it up and see if it'll cut through there. Yep. And I'll tell you one thing. Let's compare it to the other EMT shears here. Okay. It's a lot cleaner cut, too. You see how kind of rough that cut is there. Whereas this one cut very, very cleanly through it. So it's a lot cleaner cut. That's very cool. Let's try something else out here real quick. Um, this is actually a, like a 2 amp, a 1 amp charge control. Um, I actually... I'm going, I have a project I'm going to be using this on, but I wanted to cut through the wires on the end here because they were a little bit long. So let's try. It's got a red and a black wire inside of a little insulation. Right through it, no problem. Okay. Next up, let's try some cardboard. Yep, that works perfectly. They are a little stubby, so you're not going to get that perfect cut like you would with a pair of cutting scissors. But you see, it has no problem tearing through cardboard without a problem at all. So, very, very cool. Next up, let's try one more thing here. I want to show you what it looks like on some thicker cardboard. So let's try it through here. Right through it, no problem. I did have to use both hands because I had to push through it and then kind of still in the box. And I'm not going to save the box for anything. So, now, let's try to use these for what they're actually for. Which is cutting through some thick clothing, or I'm going to use denim today. I have a pair of jeans over here that um, I use for char cloth. I actually got battery acid on them. I got little tiny holes all over it when I was filling my, uh, my old lead acid batteries. Um, so what we're going to do with this is see how well this cuts through a thick piece of denim. So we'll start with the, the belt loop there. Okay, Cuts right through it, no problem. Right through the seams. So you can cut right through anything. And this isn't meant to give you a perfect clean cut. It's meant to cut the stuff off somebody's leg if they're bleeding out or whatever. But you see even through the pockets here, no problem. It's actually going to be really handy because I cut this stuff up and I saved this and I use this for char cloth. Uh, denim makes excellent char cloth. So uh, you can use this to cut yourself out a nice piece of denim or a couple pieces. Stick them in a little Altoids tin, char them up, and you got yourself a piece of char cloth. So that's why I saved my old jeans because they make incredibly good char cloth that catches sparks very, very well. So all in all, I am impressed with them. They are on sale right now. Um, again, this was something I picked off of Banggood. Um, I've been finding a lot of prepper gear on there. Really surprised. It's actually slowly becoming my favorite place to shop because they've got so many neat little uh, unusual things for his ham radio, and uh, you know, which is one of my hobbies, and a lot of neat prepper gear and stuff. Things like this. Now, this does look kind of familiar to a certain uh, Leatherman product. Uh, it's not anywhere near the same... Um, product you know this is totally different but it does kind of look familiar to that the difference is that product's 80 bucks and this one while on sale is 35 and this is a nice beefy healthy unit I mean this isn't you know this isn't junk this is a nice thick heavy duty kind of pair of scissors here as you can tell by taking a look at them they're, they're thick they're well constructed everything's put together really nice and tight so definitely liking that aspect of them um, they are right now they're on sale for $35 I will give you the link down below, but I also wanted to let you know, and I just found this out myself, um, gosh, like two weeks ago, that from the 1st of this month, which has already passed, to the 12th, they're having a global shopping festival on there. So there's a lot of stuff on sale, like deep, deep discounts. I was actually looking for another antenna tuner, and I wanted to try out one of those OLED, you know, small little box, kind of like the radio I showed a while back, antenna tuners. And they have them for 35 bucks On Amazon, they're 109 So I definitely wanted to try that out. So that's going to be the Global Shipping Festival. That's 11-1 to 11-12. And after that, right after it, 
is the Black Friday sale, and that's from 1113 to 1128. So you can click my link and follow it, and you'll read all about the sales. But mainly what I'm interested in is showing you these, because I think these would be a really handy addition to your blowout kit. Now to fold these up, you're going to push that button there. See that button? There's a button like this on each side. Push that button in and fold forward. I always like to make sure these are closed, because sometimes they can, be, they can be open like that, and when you fold them, you run the risk of getting caught in there. So you're going to fold that forward, like that. You're going to push this button here, fold that forward, and there you go. All folded up and ready for use. So I am um, surprisingly impressed with these. I really wasn't sure, you know, I know sometimes you buy products online and you're like, oh, that's kind of a disappointment. This was not a disappointment. These are very, very well made. They are going to go in my um, blowout kit now instead of these little cheapies. Where did I put them? Over here. You know, I mean, hey, they probably would have worked, but they're awfully tinny, thin, and cheap, and I would much rather use something like that if I had to really chop off, uh, you know, chop through clothing or chop through any kind of heavy. Um, you know, you got your the scissors can be used for seat belts as well, along with the seat belt cutter. So that's really kind of handy. And I will show you one thing with the seat belt cutter that we can probably see quickly here. Since I've got it folded and closed, I just thought of this. We can probably cut through some paracord real quick just to show you. Let's try not to hit the camera. There we go, right through it. And that's the nice part about this is that's what it does. It literally tears right through it. There you go, right through it. So it tears right through it really, really easily. And that's a handy thing to do when you're dealing with, um, with seat belt material. So as you can tell, no problem whatsoever. So I do like that feature. Although me personally, I would probably not use this. I'd probably just use the shears to cut them out of a seat belt if I had to cut somebody out in an emergency situation. Generally, I got a feeling if I'd use these at all, it would be to cut off clothing um, where there was an injury underneath to at least put a tourniquet on, maybe cover the bleeding, stop the bleeding, whatever I could do to help. So that's why I got these. Um, they are going to replace the ones that were in there, which I showed you. And for 35 bucks, you can't go wrong. Let me give you some quick stats on it, okay? Unfolded, they are 8 inches by 4.13 inches. Folded, 5.11 inches by 1.96 inches, so they are fairly thin, okay? The weight on them is about 6 ounces, and again, the material is the 420 high carbon stainless steel, so you don't have to worry about these um, rusting on you. Um, one of the things I would have liked to see is a lock when they're closed, because you see how that kind of opens. But all in all, I'm pleased with them, and for 35 bucks, you can't complain. So, anyway folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will put a link down below where you can pick these up if you're interested in picking them up. These are the Tian Lug 6-in-1 Multifunction Folding EMT Shears. And I think for 35 bucks, you really can't go wrong. So, thanks for watching, folks. Don't forget to check all our links down below. We have our Amazon affiliate store down there. Um, these were not in the store. These will be on their own separate link to Banggood. You can check out our store there, see what's inside, see if there's anything that's interesting to you. Um, I try to put all the gear that I review in the store. We have our freeze-dried wholesalers link. And let me tell you something. The guy that owns Freeze Ride Wholesale is working really hard to keep stocked up. He's good. He's got lots of supply. But he is definitely um, working hard and dealing with a lot of the individual farmers and ranchers. And they're kind of scared right now because they're having a hard time getting the things they need to grow their crops. So you might want to get in on his stuff there. Uh, he's got a 15% off discount link, my link, right there. You click that link, you're going to save 15%. Below that is our My Patriot Supply link. Lots of good prepper food and lots of good deals there. That's preparewithiridium.com, preparewithiridium.com. And last but not least, and we're going to be doing a video on them pretty soon, is our Thrive Life freeze-dried store where you can pick up some more freeze-dried food from Thrive. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.